Right, hello again everyone. I know the anticipation has been palpable for this next round of a video inset. So this is to deal with how to input progress marks into Arbor. So from the Arbor home screen now, if you go to students, you should find that you have progress tracking here. And this is the way in which you can input marks. So if you click on progress tracking, it will take a little while obviously, because it always does for these videos, and then it loads up. So. Um, you can find the academic year, which is straightforward. Year group is always going to be year seven. Choose your subject. So I'll go to humanities. And you'll find that you can input your marks from this screen, but you can also do some other neat things, which I'll show you. So autumn one has already been filled in for you. That involved, so I took the marks that you gave me and have filled them in for every single subject. So we'll come back to that later on, just to see how you can uh, use the data to assess progress so far. In terms of inputting data, very straightforward. You've got your two classes. It says marking not started yet. And what you want to do, you never want to do well, number one, that's been done already. You want to input marks is the first thing you want to do. And so what you'll do is, having chosen the class, make sure you've got the right period assessment date, which is obviously autumn two. You then go into the autumn two column and put in whatever mark you want. You can do it by a drop-down menu. So if I wanted to give uh, AXA a 4B, then you could do it like that. Or if you want to, you can do uh, it by uh, typing it in. So as long as the cursor's there, you can then type it in and then just confirm it by clicking on it. Okay, uh, this also displays the baseline, which is the level at which they came in, autumn one assessment grade, and their target level. And this allows you to do some quite neat things um, in terms of assessing the data. So I'll show you that if we go back to the main progress page. I'll just do that by clicking here. Once you've completed your marking, you'll find that the uh, orange bar, which previously said um, marking not yet started, will go green. So Sophie this morning has filled in her assessments and you can see the time and date on which she managed to finish her marking, which is great. I'm just going to show you the Autumn 1 Humanities results, which uh, weren't particularly good, but I'm going to show you them by way of demonstrating how you can use the Arbor to now track progress. So if I click on a class again, once it's green and the marking's been completed, you can see that number three is you can view progress to target. So if we click on that, then this allows you to do something quite neat in terms of monitoring how well pupils are doing uh, towards their target grades because there's quite a lot of data in the system it takes a little while but what you get is a neat little graph like this now this graph shows you um, the students progress towards expected progress and their uh, DFE required and therefore the school required attainment levels along the left hand axis you can see uh, the baseline that they came in at so be it a 2B, a 3B or a 4B, that's the baseline we're saying people come in at. And the bottom axis along the bottom is the working at level. So this puts this is tracks what they got in their autumn one assessment. Um, if you're on the yellow diagonal here line, that means that you're working precisely at the expected uh, level that we would hope for. If you're in the green zone, then you're working above. Uh, the expected level of progress and you're in the red zone and you're working below. So you can see, as you might expect in an autumn one assessment, the vast majority, in fact nearly everyone uh, in GO is working below the expected level of attainment. Uh, if you hover over, then you can see the list of the pupils' names uh, who are there. And so these are people, if you look, it says 4B to 3A, that means they came in at a 4B and they're currently working at a 3A, so they're working below target. The one pupil who is working above target is Anya, who came in at 4B and is now working at a 5B, even though her expected level of attainment for the end of the year is only a 5C, similar to Alicia. So this is a neat way of you tracking how well people are doing. As the year goes on, obviously, we're going to hope that people move from this red zone up and basically make a big shift up this way into the green zone and have uh, lots of progress towards that target. You can view it as a table, which shows you a slightly different way of measuring that, um, which you'll just load up now. Again, there's quite a lot of data, so it takes a little while, but you can see uh, it's probably not as useful that. But so the chart's very useful. You could take a screen grab of that and use it for your performance management. Uh, but in general, it'd be very useful for when you do your autumn one, autumn two, and into the future, your reviews of your performance management, particularly in relation to the progress of pupils that you teach. 
So that's a very brief introduction to the progress tracker. Have a look around, let me know if you find anything else that's interesting. And yeah, that's the latest video and set done.